FileMaker Android Tracking is a continuous GPS tracking application for your Android device and it continuously background tracks GPS, it restarts with the phone. Essentially the only way to turn off the GPS tracking is to turn off the phone or to uninstall the app from the phone. Uh, so I'll run through how to set up the app and I'll also show you what the app looks like on the phone. So to set it up, first in the Play Store entry here are some instructions to set up your server. And the first instruction is to make sure that Enable PHP Publishing is turned on for your FileMaker server. And that looks like this. So in your uh, admin console, go to Web Publishing, click on PHP and ensure that Enable PHP Publishing is turned on. If it's not, go up to Server and uh, rerun the Deployment Assistant um, to turn that on. And also go to your, um, to your local host page, colon 16001 and run the technology test to ensure that the PHP publishing is working fine with the sample file. Uh, also ensure that any port forwarding is turned on so that your server is reachable from the internet. Uh, so your second step after PHP publishing is on is to download the file that will receive your GPS tracks and upload that to your server. So to do that you copy the URL from the Play Store entry here, paste that into your URL bar and then your file will download and just upload that file to the server. Its username and password is GPS and you can change that username and password to, to whatever you want. And the final step is to install the app to, the, to your mobile phone and, uh, and enter in the address of your server. And from then on it will be tracking. So I'll uh, install that now. I've got an emulator running. I'll just uh, put that on. So that's just installing now, and here it is. So first you'll be asked if uh, the app can access your location and any other permissions uh, that, uh, depending on the version of your phone, will ask for. And second, you'll enter in the server URL of your FileMaker server. So first put in HTTP or HTTPS if you have a certificate installed, uh, and then enter the rest of your address. I'll just pause this video to uh, hide my... Um, full server address. So I've put in my full server address and I'll press the set server button and now notification FM Android tracking is active and this has changed up the top here this message to say tracking active and there's a little note notice there uninstall and reinstall the app to change the server settings. So that's the only way to now change your server setting now that it's installed and that message will disappear as soon as you uh, close and reopen this window. Uh, and that disappears so that your users, uh, your field workers, whoever is using your phone doesn't see that message. So I'll just uh, do that now. Put it in the background, open it up. It simply says tracking active. Uh, so if you close this app, the background tracking service is still running. If you restart the phone, the background tracking service will restart with your phone. Uh, and your users will always know that they are being tracked. Uh, because if you pull down from the notification bar, there it is, FM Android Tracking, a big line there saying that, uh, that the tracking is enabled on your phone. And also that square there will be an icon on your phone, which is the FM Android Tracking icon. So they'll, uh, so whichever device you're using uh, to track, uh, whichever version of Android, you will see this notification uh, permanently while the tracking is on. Uh, so that's that's that. I'll now show you what it looks like in the FileMaker file. So here's the FileMaker file, which is on your server. This is what you downloaded uh, from the uh, from this link and uploaded to your server to start with. And this file will uh, open up. To, to this page where you can see a list of all of your UUIDs and you can enter a name. So this is a new, um, I'll just call this emulator because this is coming from my emulator. You can enter a descriptive name uh, of, your, of your device so that you can easily identify it in the future. And click go to tracks and it goes to your tracks. And here you see all of the tracking information that is posted from the phone. So you get the latitude, longitude, the UUID of the device, which is the unique identifier. You get the battery percentage, one is 100%, down to 0.5 for 50 and so on. 
uh, the date and time, which is the local date and time of the phone. And then you get this UTC time. So that's the, that's the UTC time that you can use to perform operations when you're working across time zones. And then you get the speed, heading, and accuracy of the device and a little button to see that location um, in Google Maps. Uh, but this, this is just designed to be a repository for the GPS information. And then uh, you can edit this file as you wish, or you can just connect to it, connect a relationship to it from another file and use the GPS information as you want. And so that is the, uh, that, um, up the top here is a description of the formats uh, of these fields. For example, the speed is the meters per second. Uh, the accuracy is the radial meter accuracy, and so on. Okay, so that's the Android tracking system. And uh, leave some feedback uh, and feature requests uh, and uh, any, other, any other questions that you have uh, or customizations that you want. Feel, feel free to contact me at schwartzsoftware.com.au and I can make those so that the solution can fit your requirements. Okay, thank you.